In this video, I will show you how we can use conditional formatting to quickly find the top and bottom values in a range of data. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tips and tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Here is the annual sales data of a company. In this table, the sales from each person across the different months has been shown. This data is great, but it is very tough to find some trends. Let's say that we want to find the top and the bottom sales performance for each month. So for the month of January, we need to find the max and min between cell C4 to C16. For the month of February, we need to find the max and min values in cell D4 to D16 and so on and so forth. It will be very cumbersome to do this one by one by finding the min and max and indicating. We can quickly do this using conditional formatting. Let's see how. So let's select from cell C4 to N16 which is our complete sales data and click conditional formatting. Let's create a new rule and we are going to use a formula. So let's go to classic and select use a formula. So we need to find if the cell value is going to be max of that column and if it is we want to color it. So the formula is going to be the first cell is C4 if it is equal to max of C dollar 4 to C dollar 16. This will ensure that any cell in column C is going to be checked only within C4 to C16. If you go to a column D, so let's say the next cell is D4, the rows are going to be fixed to 4 and 16, but the column is going to be changed to D. So the cells C are going to be checked for C column. Any cell in D is going to only be checked with the values in the D column and so on and so forth. So let me just put the customized format to, let's fill it with green and let's give it white color with bold and say ok. So now if a cell is going to be the max in the respective column, we want to color it green and say ok. That now easily our top performing salesperson is identified. Similarly let's create another conditional formatting, uh, new rule, again let me go to classic use a formula and in this case we are again going to start with C4 which is beginning of our range. Note that I am not fixing the cell here should be equal to minimum of again I am going to fix the rows and keep the columns floating so that with each cell the respective column is only going to be checked. So if the cell value is equal to the minimum of that data let us fix it with let's say red in this case and let me again put white with gold and say ok. That quickly we have identified our top and bottom data. Let's try to test it. So let's say I am going to change Harry's data to 3000. Now this becomes the lowest data and let's say that Ivanka is going to have same sales as Karen. Both will be identified. I'm just giving a quick glance, looks like Mark has had the most number of top performances in the year and probably yeah, Daisy has had the most number of bottom performances. Conditional formatting can be really powerful in identifying data. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.